So we have a pretty good um, track so far. Let's import an object into the scene. Um, I'm going to import 3D, 3D Universe's um, Tune Squirrel. It's like this little guy for some reason. And I'm going to reduce his size and I'm going to turn his head a little bit. Okay. And since Poser imports characters at the, at the origin, um, whatever you import at the origin, um, it will be synced with the animation. As you can see, the feet aren't sliding. Um, but you will notice that the, the tail is, uh, you will notice that the tail is kind of going into the wall. We'll fix that in a second. Um, but the feet aren't sliding, and for the most part, the character is in tune with the um, background scene. Um, let's say we like this. Let's say it, uh, we like this and we didn't notice. Let's say we like this and we didn't notice the uh, the tail in the wall at first. Um, if you want to, you can render um, at this point, and you'll notice that the trackers and the square will not show up in your render. Um, I made sure that when you I, I set the trackers so that they won't show up in the render. Um, or you can hit the delete trackers button and the trackers will go bye bye. Um, but let's say we played through the animation and we noticed that the tail in the back. Oh, no, we don't like the tail. So we want to move the character. So we select the character and we get the body and we decide to translate the character a little bit. And then we move it over here and then we decide to rotate the character and then we got to fix the head. And we think we're on easy street because we already set the character up. OK, but when we play the animation. Look at the feet. The feet are kind of sliding over over this line right here. So that means this character is no longer in, in sync with the footage. Why why did that happen? It's because when we move the character, we move the character away from a track. And moving um, your characters away from tracks can, in some instances, um, move your character out of sync with the footage. So how do we get back in sync with the footage? We have to use the tracks. But we deleted the tracks. Fortunately, there is an add track button, add trackers button. Click that. We have to find the uh, that our original um, XML file and match move assistant will bring those tracks back so now all we have to do is find a track that we think is pretty good i found um auto 8 881 we look at its y trend copy that um, i just hit Control c um, go back to the character and we Control v paste it now you'll notice that the squirrel is now um breaking um, poser's floor plane but once we play the animation You'll see that his feet, that the character is now um, readjusted back to the animation. His feet are perfect. Um, that's because we are not worried about so much the location of the ground plane as much as the tracks. The tracks are what orient us with, are what orient our objects with the um, background scene. And uh, there you have it. Um, you have just. Uh, added a CGI element, the Toon Squirrel, to a live action footage, to a live action shot. From here, you can choose to, um, if you choose to export, um, if you choose to render out a sequence um, of this character, um, you're going to want to delete the trackers. Then you're going to want to go to uh, render settings. And here, you're going to want to uh, make sure that you render it background color save those settings and when you go to render this scene um, you're going to render the scene without that uh without that background footage um, if you don't do it that way you will have the background footage make sure you render out to png file format um, the png file format has the alpha channel which which means that um, you'll only be rendering your character in the shadows of the character um, but if you do want to use poser then make sure that you set i'm sorry i just did that without even explaining it Make sure that you set the uh, render back to background um, picture. Save that out and um, take off the constraint um, aspect ratio and set the resolution to the resolution of the of the um, footage. And there you have it. Um, save that out and you'll have a movie with this character in it. Um, and that's it's pretty much that simple. Um, um, things to note again make sure that your um, the footage that you bring in the PF hole um, has an aspect ratio of 1.0 um, as of right now I don't think that poser understands um, anything other than that 1.0 aspect ratio um, 
also um, I want you to you know make sure that you educate yourself um, there's a book that you can read um, where's that book uh, I know it's around here somewhere it is... oh here it is the book is called um, Tim Daubert's um, Match Moving, um, The Invisible Art of Camera Tracking. It is an invaluable tool. I'm not getting any royalties by mentioning this, but it is just a great tool for all match movers. Uh, match moving is an art form, um, and you're going to need some practice to get it right. Um, also, um, um, pay attention to, you know, anywhere you see any match movies taking place, such as um, the Geico, Gecko commercials. Um, notice that you don't always have to have a moving camera to have a... Um, a lasting and dramatic effect that Geico Gecko is a pretty cool commercial that camera never moves when that Geico's on the, when that Gecko's on the screen um, look at Lord of the Rings um, where Gollum isn't always on the camera isn't always moving with Gollum and if it does it, it kind of pans um, and you very rarely see the feet There's tons of tricks out there that'll help you in your match moving um, I hope you enjoy the, the plug-in I've always tried to create plugins that are cost-effective and um, useful to the composer community um, be on the lookout for more of the um, assistant series. Um, go to um, www.contentparadise.com and look up A N A K E L E for some of my other scripts out there. And um, you can always contact me on the um, www.pfho.com um, forums or um, email me at forgebyflashaol.com um, for tutorials on um, the use of uh, PFO. At PFO Pro, go to www.pfo.com and look at the user tutorials. Um, there's a wealth of information out there. Uh, my name is Andre O'Brien, and this has been um, a Match Move Assistant for Poser Pro 2010 and PFO tutorial. Thank you very much, and take care.